I think as much as we understand burnout, like the, the core of it definitely is from our mental health. I know for me when I'm burnt out, I'm in need of reconnecting to myself, my soul, my connections lost. We, we are disconnected, we're disorganised, we're desensitised. And this is in another YouTube video about how we all need to get off our phones and using social media. That's not the approach I want to take. I think what I'm trying to say is how often do you go for a bushwalk? How often do you touch a tree? How often do you find yourself not connected to nature? If I'm not exercising, if I'm not having a good call with a good friend who I haven't spoken to in a long time, I can't be a good painter or illustrator, content creator. I can't be any of those things. If I'm worrying about being the f all of the facets that I am, I don't actually do anything about that. You know, a lot of us artists, we think of living that thing that we do in between projects and creating and making stuff. If we don't do that living, if we think of it separately from our art, pet owners, parents, children, brothers and sisters, siblings, friends, so on and so forth. Being human, a steward of nature. If we don't prioritize living, we don't prioritize our art. And if we think of living as separate from our art, then that's how we burn out. This separation makes our creativity very difficult to sustain and therefore makes it very difficult to stay creative. So that's when it becomes essential to integrate living into our art practice or integrate our creativity, but as a foundation of sorts. Now, how can you do this? Well, take time to be present in your life. All we have is right now, at any given moment, now. The future, the past, although they do exist, the realest thing we have is right now. Take some time to engage in the world around you and to engage in your relationships. That's where your creativity will thrive. Only then can we avoid burnout and continue to create with purpose and passion. That's really all I have to say about burnout. If you have seen my content before, you would know that I have ADHD which means that my brain can move too fast, which forces my body to move too fast. And I get a little obsessive about productivity and creativity, but I forget to slow down. So slow down your relationships, take time to understand and to pay attention to what's going on around you, and you will not burn out. Thank you everybody for watching. As always, I've been your host, Jordan T. Mystic, and stay weird.